delicious. So here he is, every bit six foot six inches tall. Anthony Joshua making the walk to the octagon here tonight. No denying the hands, no denying the boxing prowess, the technical acumen. The big question facing Joshua tonight, how is the takedown defense? How has he closed that gap in trying to become a well-rounded mixed martial artist? We're gonna get some answers here in short order. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing. To him. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kicks, jumping high kicks, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Anthony Joshua. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? Here we go, round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, we get to watch it inside of an octagon. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He's much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice straight there by Joshua. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Joshua.
Straight right hand, no good. on the right there to no avail. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just... Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, big left! Blocks that kick to the body. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Another shot lands upstairs. Some of the highlights from the last round. Lots of the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Go fight. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Just missed with that right hand. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Right under the elbow. Body to land. Oh, big left hook there. Just out of range with that left hook. Try to establish that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Trying to establish that jab once again. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Joshua gets touched by that kick there, and he landed the right hand there. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Good punch. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Joshua's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Now oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Ten minutes in the books. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. 
They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Slowing down tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Great punch. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh! Oh, big left! Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, he engages in the single power tie. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming. But until you're in there with him. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. How about that chin? That uppercut landed! Big punch land. Ooh. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Big power shot there. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Back to his feet. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, effective strike there by Joshua. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with the big right hand. See, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen time. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we'll go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Anthony Joshua!